Hello, in the video coming up, I'll show you how to install Flatpak Linux apps on your Chromebook. So in this video, we'll go over three things. How to install Flatpak apps on the Chromebook, how to update Flatpak apps on the Chromebook, and how to uninstall Flatpak apps on the Chromebook. So you've got a nicely fresh installed Chrome OS Linux on your Chromebook and now you want to know how to use it. So there's lots of different ways you can install programs on Linux in Chrome OS, which is good. The, the way I'm going to show you today is using Flatpak. Now Flatpak essentially means you're installing the program individually, so you're not using an app store like Plasma Discover, for example, you're just installing them using your command line. But it's a lot easier than you would think because there's two websites that make it really easy to do. So this is a brand new fresh install of Linux. So all I've done is installed Linux. So I've not done anything else. So that's all you need to get to. What we need to do, if we open up the terminal like that, okay, and like I says, there's two websites that help that make it really easy. And the first one we're going to go to is flatpak.org so that's f l a t p a k.org and then enter or return and then here you'll see that we've got start using flatpak and install from a growing collection of apps so first of all you need to set it up so what you want to do to do that is get set up like that and this is all the different types of linux distributions that there is we're using the Chromebook, so it's this one here. This is Chrome OS Linux. Click on that, and it essentially tells you what you need to do. Now, this first one, Enable Linux Support, that's just installing Linux. So if you've done that, you can ignore that part there. Now, the second part here is the terminal, and this is where this is the terminal here. Okay, so the good thing about this is, one, you don't need to type in these commands, and two, you've got a place where you can go to in the future if you need to, to know what commands to do. So the first command we need is sudo apt install flatpak. So all you can do, if you go to the there and click on that, and that will copy that line there, and then all you need to do then is paste it into the terminal. Now to paste it into the terminal, you can either, depending on your Chromebook, so try all three and see which works. You can do Control V to see if that works. If that doesn't work, you can do, because that doesn't work on mine, but if I do Control Shift V, it works. And as you can see, it's pasted in that command there. Or if that doesn't work, another way you could do it, which I think is much easier, but again, it may work on your Chromebook, it may not, just right click and it pastes it in for you as well. So that's the much easiest way. And then just hit return or enter. And then do you want to continue? Just press yes. And that's done, okay? Now, if you go back to the web page, and what you need to do then is add the Flat Hub repository. Now, I know if you don't use Linux, this might all sound a bit technical, but don't worry about it. It's just essentially a database where all the programs are kept. And you can trust Flatpak, flatpak.org, and you can also trust the other website that we're going to go to after this, because flatpak.org recommends using flat flathub.org, which we will also use. That's where you get the programs from. So for flat pack.org all we're doing is setting it up so you can install Flatpak on your Chromebook. So the second one here as it says Flathub is the best place to get Flatpak apps to enable it. So now we need to run this and what this will do it will enable it so we will be using flathub.org to install Flatpak software. So again just click on there like that and then go back to there. And again, whatever way you want to paste it, I'll just right click on my mouse and that's all in there. Hit return and that's it, that's done. Now what you do need to do now though, you need to go back to here and as you will see here, it says to complete setup, restart Linux. So that's what you need to do. You do need to restart Linux. So I'm gonna close down this website now because you don't need it any longer. And we've got this here. So to close Linux, just simply type in exit, like that. 
close that down and then go down to the bottom here and this is where your terminal is if your terminal's not down here by default it will be in your linux should be in your linux there okay so you, you should you should be able to find it in your app menu but if it's down here just right click on it like that and you can see shut down linux so click on that and that was shut down Linux. So you do need to do that first. So that's closed down Linux. Now we're just going to open it up again. So open up the terminal, go to Penguin, and as you can see, it's starting the machine. And that's all ready to go. Okay, so the next website we want to go to, and this is really good. You can see this website, such as like an app store, sort of like the Play Store, but for Linux. So go to your browser and just type in flat hub so not flat pack anymore that's just how you set it up so it's flat hub.org hit return and that's where you get to here and it shows all the different apps so you can search for an app if you want to or you can scroll down to see what's trending we've got popular here we've got new We've got updated. Now do bear in mind, this is for anyone who uses Linux, not just people who use Linux within Chrome OS. So you will see things, for example, like Google Chrome, which you'd think, well, that doesn't make sense because Chrome is built into the Chromebook, but it's not for that. It's for anyone who uses Linux. So here you can see you've got Firefox, you've got many different ones, VLC Media Player, that's good as well if you if you want a new media player on your Chrome, but you could give that a try. So what we're going to do now, we're going to install Firefox. So if you simply click on there, or like I says, you could just search for it up here, Firefox, and then it comes up. Click on that. And again, you don't click install because this is mainly for people who are just using Linux like Ubuntu or something like that, not through Chrome OS. So instead of clicking on that, you just click on the drop down there. And then here it warns you, make sure you, you follow the setup guide for Linux distribution. We've done that, that's what we've just done in the video. So you don't need to worry about that. So what we need to do now is simply copy this code and it's this code here, the first one here. So if you copy that and then go to the terminal, paste it in your terminal, hit return, yes, and then yes again. Obviously, depending on the app, they may have different options when you run in and move inside the terminal, just follow what it asks. And we're just waiting for that to install. So that's now installed. Now to run it, you've got two options. As you can see here on the website, it gives you the wrong command. So you could put that with inside the terminal to run it. However, with the Chromebook, because we've just installed it, it will just be down in your menu here. So go to Linux like that, and then you'll see you've got Firefox. Open that up. And it's just double click here to maximize it like that. And then just follow the setup process. So I'm just going to skip these because personally speaking, people might want to use Firefox on their Chromebook. I don't see the reason why I would want to. I'd rather use the Chrome browser because we're using the Chromebook, but it's just to show you. And then just to show you that it's all working there. And there you've got Firefox now on your Chromebook. So I think that's a great way to install applications on your Chromebook. And when you use Flatpak, the good thing with Flatpak is if you use Flathub, for example, Firefox will put their distributions in here. So you can trust that it's verified from Firefox. As you can see, I'll just click off there. It's got verified. So you can trust the download that you're installing. And then when they want to have updates, they just do it all with inside this repository. And they've got, there's loads and loads of different ones that people may use with Linux, other, other Linux distributions. But with Flathub, I think it's a really good way to go. And like I said, you've got so many different options to choose from as far as applications. Do bear in mind, not all applications will work with Chrome OS Linux. So it's trial and error and just having a look to see which ones you can install. Okay, so you've got Firefox installed, but how do you update Firefox with new versions? So the way you should do that is if you go to the terminal like that and click on Penguin, and first of all, you wanna see the list of Flatpak apps you've got installed. So to do that, 
type in flat pack, which is F L A T P A K, and then space and then list L I S T, and hit enter or return. And that will show you a list of the Flatpak apps you've got installed on your Chromebook. Do bear in mind all of these here, for example, above Firefox have been installed when we installed Flatpak earlier. So you don't really want to uninstall them at this stage or update them. So if you wanted to update Firefox, you can see Firefox is there. So to update Firefox, you would do Flatpak space update space and then what you need to type now is the application id and you can see the application id here so for firefox it's that there so it's that so it's org which is org dot mozilla m o z i l l a dot firefox hit return looking for updates, nothing to do. And the reason for that is we've only just installed it. But it's good because you can also see the version here as well that you've got installed on your Chromebook. So if you do know there's a new version come out, go into there, run that command, and then that will update it to the new version for you. So now we're gonna look at how you uninstall Flatpak. Again, just stay on this same terminal here. We've got the list here, so you'd want to do that Flatpak list to see which one you want to install. In this case, we want to uninstall Firefox. So at the moment, you can see Firefox is down here. So we want to uninstall it. So to uninstall it, just type Flatpak, F-L-A-T-P-A-K, space, uninstall, space. And again, it's just the application ID. That's what you want to uninstall. So it would be org.mozilla.firefox, hit return, and then it's asking you proceed with these changes to the user installation, click yes, hit return, uninstall complete. And it's as simple as that. And if you go down to here, you will see that Firefox has now gone from there. So in this video, I've showed you how to install Flatpak software, the websites where you can go to to get the code to easily put that into the terminal, how to update Flatpak software, and how to uninstall Flatpak software. So I think you'll agree that's a pretty easy way to install Chrome OS Linux apps on your Chromebook, and it's moving away from using an app store, which is fine to use an app store, but the reason I showed you that, for example, some app stores wouldn't have the option to install Firefox. So that's one way you could install Firefox by using a flat pack. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.